second line. Uh -oh. Hi and welcome back to Fishing with David File. I'm on the Willamette River today fishing for sturgeon and it's, uh, what are we at? November 12th, 2017. And yep. That fish just popped off, I believe. <laughs> Darn it, had a good one on. Anyway, we're just starting to see a tide change and um, the bite's starting to happen. So um, we expect to catch a few fish today and uh, we'll have you watch the video and we'll see you next time on Fishing with David Potter. Whoa, yeah, you can go in. Alright, see if I can get this one in the boat. Alright. Some rookie move and lose a fish again. There's a bubble. There he is. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> okay, we've caught about seven fish. The tide is just starting to roll out, which is much, much better for uh, sturgeon fishing. Um, when you don't have current, the scent really doesn't move down river. Fish don't pick it up. And in addition to that, they sense it's time to hunt for food when the tide is actually rolling out. So that's your best time to fish. We came on the incoming tide, it was relatively slow, and now we're getting consistent bites. So I was going to talk a little bit about how I fish for sturgeon. Um, I cut my fish in half, kind of make a little bit of a diagonal cut on my herring. And um, I'll use the back or the front, it doesn't matter. Uh, the, fish seem to bite it either way and I tie an egg loop on a pretty short piece of Dacron 50 pound test and um, I basically come through the back side and um, point the hook toward the front and come back through the fish laying the shank down right near the tail and then I pull the egg loop out wrap it around the tail and that's what holds the fish on so a lot of people use half hitches and they use longer uh, Dacron and that's okay that's a great way to fish too it's just I found this to be um, you know something that works for me works very well so um, I'll move this up close to the camera so you can see what it looks like but there's our piece of herring and a um, piece of Dacron wrapped around the tail and it's just as easy to do the front part of the fish too if you're going to use the head. So um, I'll just cast this out, put a little bit of scent on it. Um, it doesn't really matter what it is. I usually like to use bloody, uh, bloody tuna. Today I've been using kind of this Mike's, uh, it's Mike's Lumper Lotion stuff with garlic and, and it's tuna garlic. So I'll put something on there to make it feel like I'm doing something. And um, cast that cast it out, let it sit on the bottom with eight ounces of lead, and um, we'll see if we can get a fish out of it, which I expect we will. So, very quick yeah. throw it out, and we'll come back to you when we got a fish. It's been just a couple of minutes, and um, this line's been tapped a couple times. We're gonna wait till this fish is very serious, but I wanna take a moment uh, to talk a little bit about my friend, uh, Glenn Harrison, fishandsleep.net. He's uh, started a blog and a website. He knows a lot about fishing. You'll see him in some of my videos. And um, great how-to tips and uh, places to fish. So check out his website. It's fishandsleep, like I have on my hat, .net. And um, follow that. He'll have some of my videos and I'll probably be out on his boat catching trout sometime this winter. In the meantime, I'm going to deal with this fish. I've been here, I'd say, three, four, five minutes at max since I just cast this in the water. And there's a fish there. So I got one. 
from uh, demonstrating how to set it up to hooking the fish. Um, now I just have to land this guy. Okay, top to bottom from uh, baiting up, throwing it in the water, and catching all in a matter of, I guess, five minutes. We've got a sturgeon, so it's good fishing out here once the tide's rolling out. And I don't think you need to uh, fish in any particular space. I think you just go look on your finder and look for fish, and you should get lucky just like we did. So, anyway, there you have it. Pretty serious. Pick this up. Set the hook. And I just pull back on it a little bit and make sure that it is still pulling back against the bait. He might already have it in his mouth, but feels like he's there. I can set the hook. Now we got both poles going. We got another one on the other side of the boat, so we got a double. And so this fish is on. And it might be a good fish. <laughs> Seems to be taking some line. So we finally got this big fish up. Joe was fighting and as you can see, it's not quite a nice, big, beautiful fish. Let's unhook him and send him back on his way. Don't splash me, please. <laughs>